inside. Alright, and off they go, Manny Smith takes the lead. Come back around now, that 27, that beautifully prepared bike. Looking just like that sidecar. Comes back now, now, Matty Smith out in front. As so they come back around now, having completed their second lap. So it's 27 pulling in behind the young moon. I'll just have to double check on her name. If you come back around now, looks like it's going to be Matty Smith out in front, getting into the corner. Talking to Dylan the other day that a lot of practice gone in in the paddock, lap after lap after lap out in the paddock. So certainly knows how to do it. So Matty Smith leads him out in front. Come back around now. To come back. Great job, Matty Smith. About to click the white flag. Okay. Cool, Sarge. So it's Riley Moon out there doing a great job. To come back around now. On the final time. So the. 10 of Matty Smith come rounds to collect the chicken flag. Second place, 27 of Riley Moon. Is there any time of a 1 minute 36.90? 1 minute 36.90. Right. Right. They sit back looking. So they look, they're ready to go. Okay, and tapes are up, and off they go, and all five bikes are away. 95 of Caleb Joyce out in front takes it lead from the 66 of Josh Parks. Funny feeling that that six bike might be Daniel G on there, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to wait and see. I'll get some more information as I hear it. Down in front is the 95 of it. Caleb Joyce showing that extra years experience on that 125. Also, extra years growth to grow into that chassis. They come back now, doing a great job out there. It's cool to see five of these guys out here. Come back now, now it is the white flag now for the 95 of Caleb Joyce for the 66 of uh, Josh Parks. Just get some clarification with the number six. Number nine there. And fifth place, Ella Paul, as they come back around now, it is the 95 of Caleb Joyce. Thanks to one for the 66 of Josh Parks from the six, from the nine, and from the 19 of Ella Paul in a time of. Uh, 1 minute 01.97 101.97 The 18 of Daniel Brett off gate 4 The 20 of Katie Reid As the tapes go off they go Daniel Brett gets his out away nicely Followed by Katie Reid sitting there in second place And finishes Tyrone Figgis in third Daniel Brett leading it Getting the out wide as he left enough room for Katie to get out the inside Not quite enough Come back through now. Daniel gets out, out there out the front. Doing a great job there. Followed by the 20 of Katie Reed. And the 37. Tyrone there in third place. Come back round. 18 of uh, Daniel Reed doing a great job leading this race out the front. For a 20 of Katie Reed. 37. Tyrone goes views right to the track limits. Just manages to stay on the track there. They come back around there with the white flag underway. It is the 18 of Daniel Brent out in front. Tyrone pulling to the infield at the back. 
So this is the 18 of Daniel Brett take the win in the first heat of the 200s, followed by the 20 of Katie Reid in a time of 57.90. 57.90. in position here. So we have Matty Smith on the inside. Riley Moon on the outside as they get away side by side into the first turn. Who's going to take it? To come back now it's Riley Moon out in front followed by the 10 of Matty Smith. Riley leads down the back straight. Comes round three and four for the first time. Taking the lead, followed by Riley Moon, followed by the 10 of Matty Smith. It's a 27, doing a great job out there in front. As I said before, it does lots and lots of laps around the paddock. So it looks like Dad's not running anymore today with the out of the out of the leathers there, so. We come back through this 27 of Riley Moon coming around, hopefully to collect his first white flag as Matty Smith closes in and behind. We're going to go now, getting ready for the white flag. One lap to go. Can Riley hold on to get a win here? They come back around now, Riley leading down the back straight. Half a lap to go, followed by uh, Matty Smith there. So you come back round now. It's going to be Riley Moon to take the win. Followed by the 10 of uh, Matty Smith. And 1 minute 21.50. 1 minute 21.50. on the front straight here away as she heads into the gate looking for a start they're all getting keen Bryce is ready to go and tapes it up and off they go all five bikes away 66 of uh, Josh Parks out in front the 6 of Ryder Marshall out in second 95 Caleb Joyce in third 19 Alipal in fourth 9 Daniel G in fifth Josh Parks leading them nicely out in front which is a great job sitting there out in front Six of Ryder Marshall sitting there in second. 95 Caleb Joyce closes up there on second place. Getting tight for that first, second and third. Caleb Joyce gets that bike nice and sideways as they come in. He may have to look to the outside. That's where he goes this time. Comes back round doing a great job. Is he going to get up into second as he comes back down the back straight? Looking pretty good there as long as he can get around the outside here. Now hold the bike down, pulls up into second place, the right flag goes, Josh leads him round in first place, followed by the 95 of Caleb Joyce in second, 36, Ryder Marshall, 19 of Alipal next, Caleb gets up the inside, great piece of riding there as he comes through to take the win from third place, for 66 of Josh Parks, 6 of Ryder Marshall, 19 of Alipal and the 9 of Daniel G, in a time of... 103.53, 103.53. So just head in, ready, get ready, as Bryce gets ready to raise those tapes. Tapes go up and off they go. Really even start there, can you read a great start there, out into front. Daniel Brick around the outside, can he hold the bike there? He does, doesn't get exceed the track limits. Gets in here. Gets the bike round now sideways, a little bit of a drive off the turn. Katie Reeds is looking for one mistake and she'll jump in and underneath. Daniel Brett starts to check out a little bit now. Katie Reeds sitting there second. Tyrone sitting there in third. Can we hear them out? I think that might be the same miss that we heard earlier from the 37 bike. See they can finish the 18 of Daniel Brett out in front. What about the 20 of uh, Katie Reid and the 37 of uh, Tyrone Figgis in there in fourth place. 
third place. Sorry, as they come back around now, it's going to be the 18 of Daniel Breath taking out the 200s again from the 20 of Katie Reid and the 37 of Tyrone Figgis in a time of 55.85. 55.85. On the outside. Um, Cover that round. Takes the start. Underway. As we, we come back around, it's Riley Moon out in front, followed by the 10 of Maddie Smith. Maddie Smith just got, got the start slightly wrong, started to go, the takes weren't quite up, and just had to hesitate slightly. Allowed Riley to get away, Riley just seems to have settled into a great rhythm here. I think Dylan's going to have to spend more time outside now, watching them go round and round and round. So come back round now, Kevin completed two laps, so the race is halfway complete. Come back round. Four. This, look, don't forget if you've got one of these little peewee bikes, 50 or 70 at home. Pop your kids on it, come down, do some racing. So come back round, there's now the white flag for the 27 of Riley Moon, put by the 10 of Maddie Smith. So they come back down the back straight. Okay. See so checks over, checking out, looking, looking for that chicken flag as he went down the back straight. He's come back around now for a second one of the day. Yep, my phone number. It's 27 of Riley Moon, followed by the 10 of Manny Smith. And a time of 1 minute 17.41. 1 minute 17.41. Looking good. Here's Alan Paul, pulls herself in there, ready to go. We're looking good for a start. And tapes her up. Josh Parks. Josh Parks just got a little bit keen there on that start. Had to hesitate and the tapes went up. There's old. Give it another go. So red flag, give him another go. Okay, so we're just dropping back for breaking the first. The start was we'll just starting back at the handicap. So looking good for a start here. <laughs> right, as the tapes go up, the way they go this time. Three of them even into the start. Who's gonna get through there? It's gonna be Caleb Joyce out in front. He's six six bike. In the second as we come in four bikes. Nice and close together, they come through there, 95 of Caleb Joyce, out in front. 66 Josh Parks comes in. Unfortunately, we've got bikes together with it. So we're going to have a red flag for that one. Unfortunately, Josh Parks just got a little bit wide there. And as he got in there, just... Couldn't quite get the bike round, got up the inside and the two bikes got together. Looked like they were all going to make it through there and then Josh just managed to drop the bike. Yeah, got the cone and yeah, that was it. I guess the bonus with this junior track on the inside is they're not getting a wall, they're only getting a cone or it going onto the grass. So, we'll give them take three. We'll just have to get these bikes restarted here in a moment. Uh, the last time they did it. Takes her up. Daniel Brett gets away that time. So he comes back in there. He gets a nice and wide. Katie holds that middle line. Falls right in behind as they come back through now. Daniel Brett getting the bike sideways. Ka Katie Reed pulling in second place here as they come back around now. There's Daniel Brett out in front. Things is up. Pulled up to this little bit bigger bike. Just fits his frame just a bit better. Strike a little bit as Daniel comes around now, uses every inch of the track on the outside there. Second place is Katie Reed. We come back around and it's Daniel Brett still leading it as we come around now to the white flag has dropped out. As we come around for the last time, it is going to be the 18 of Daniel Brett. So he crosses the line. 
56.03, think a couple of runs there. We all know how, how good that chicken flag makes you feel. I think Dylan will have to get a chicken flag for home, then he can sort of wave them on. I don't know if he'll stop riding though, talking to Dylan a while ago, he just wants to keep going around, 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 around. So as we come back around now on the second lap, Riley leading out in front from Maddie. We come back round now. As Matty closes the gap up a little bit. With two laps to go, we're halfway through. Heading back round now. Riley's still out there in front. Heading round to the white flag this time. Followed by Matty as Matty closes up again. It's a little bit closer. They come back round now, side by side, just about. As they cross the line, who's going to cross the line here? Oh, Riley's got, what are you doing there? Where'd you come from? They come back through, takes the white flags. Saw Maddie appear there and thought, no, I like this chicken flag thing. I'm going to give this another go. Maddie has another look now. She's going to be able to get around there. Come back now. It's going to be Riley Moon taking the chicken flag again. From 10 of Maddie Smith. In a time of 106.66 by now. Looking good for a start. Who's going to get away? Oh! oh. As the nine of a rider marshal gets to feel the dirt of Rosebank as he goes down, two bikes got together and down he went. So, she just gives herself a quick check out. So he's up, back up and on his feet. Obviously when he did it, he, uh, like you see there's he landed, he just sort of checked his helmet out to make sure everything was all right. As Neil gets over there, having to park over that far side. Just get these tapes fixed. They're getting ready for a go. <coughs> Unfortunately, the nine of Ryder Marshall out looking looking for another start. Right, so looking ready for a start now as Bryce gets over there with the flag. And off they go. Unfortunately, Josh just didn't get away with it again. Out in front is the 19 of Alapol, followed by the 6 of Daniel G and the 9 of Ryder Marshall, and the 66 there of Josh Parks behind. Alapol out in front, she's coming through, doing a really good job there. As she left it just a little bit wide, will that allow Daniel G to get up the inside? Daniel G sneaks through in there. Zella drops the bike back down into second place there. So Daniel G out the front on that six bike, followed by the 19 of Alapool, the 9 of Ryder Marshall, and the 66 of Josh Parks. So white flag comes in, it is the 6 of Daniel G, followed by the 19 of Alapool and the 9 of Ryder Marshall. They head down the back straight for the last time. Who's going to get that second place? It looks like Daniel G's got first done. Coming down in second as they come round, it's going to be the 9 of Ryder Marshall gets second from the 19 of Alapool. In fourth place, the 66 of Josh Parks in a time of 105 flat. <laughs> they won't make it. As they come back in now, ready for start. All three bikes, who's going to get away from the states as they go up? 
Now this time it is Daniel Green gets away. Andy Reid dropping there in second. Tyrone in third place as they come back around there. Andy pulls away a bit going down to the back straight. Daniel Green maintains that lead out in front. Halfway there, it's still the 18 bike of Daniel Brett, followed by the 20 bike of Katie Reed and the 37 of Tyro. Tyro seems to test the other track limits here in this race. So Daniel Brett doing a great job out in front, leading them away, followed by the 20 of Katie Reed and the 37 of Tyro Vegas. The bike sounds a bit better off the back as the wind goes to the 18 of Daniel Brett. Followed by the 20 of Katie Reid and the 37 of Tyro Spiggers in a time of 53.94, 53.94. As we work our way through now to the final heat of the solos. So really chase now. Look at the body attitude back there. Is he looking ready to go? Maddie's looking ready to go. Getting ready for a start as. Boo! Hey, we are got a little issue with the tapes. <laughs> right. Looking ready for a start here. We'll give it another try. In a way. Oh. Right, they go this time, off they go, Manny Smith out in front, Riley having a look, around the outside. So they go down the back straight now, side by side, Manny Smith maintaining that lead at the moment as they go into the turn. Riley ripping the cushion around the outside as they come back down now. Riley just takes the lead as they come back in. Still stays out a little bit wide there, using all of the track. As they come back through, drops to the bottom, coming down the back straight. So head back round now. They come back round now, they're two laps. She keeps having a look look over towards the flags there, trying to say, you know, come on, it must be white flag time now. They head back round now. Trolley spending half the time checking out everything else around the track. We're doing a great job out there. Riley Rowan collects the white flag. Manny Smith there in second. So they come back around for the last time, for the day, for the Peewees. Came with a shutter at the ready. Riley Miller across the line, takes the win for the 10 of uh, Matty Smith. So as so it comes back around, Chance to take the ticket flag for a ride. <laughs> Round of applause for Riley Millen. A time of 119.87. 119.87. Now, Dad, no pressure. <laughs> I think that's it, Dad. I've done good. You can walk back to the pits now. So, great piece of riding there by the Peewees.
as they go off with their 125s, off they go. Alapool out in front from the nine of Ryder Marshall, third place there, nine of Daniel Deaton, 66 of Daniel of Josh Park, sorry, and the 95 of Caleb Joyce. Alapool enjoying that fresh air out in front, closely followed by the nine of Ryder Marshall. Closing right up there in second place. One of those bikes doesn't quite sound so good. I think it might be Kayla's bike in the back as Ella goes a little bit wide as she left the door open. She comes back around now. She comes back, she's holding that first place. She comes back around now. Just again, left it a little bit wide, just enough to allow Nine of Brighter Marshall through. As the white flag comes out now, Nine of Brighter Marshall out in front, followed by the 19 of Ella Paul, the 6 of Daniel G, the 66 of Josh Parks, and unfortunately the 95 of Caleb Joyce. A little bit of an issue there, bike didn't sound good at all. So the handicap win goes to the 9 of a Ryder Marshall, followed by the 19 of Ella Paul, second at the line, followed by the 6 of Daniel G and the 66 of Josh Parks, and a time of 103.82. 103.82. So a round of applause for the nine of Ryder Marshall taking out the handicap race for the day. <laughs> With a stall on the line. They're a great, great piece of riding. It's really come on today. He's done a practice before this. with Tyrone, it's a part of the sport I love, Caleb Joyce on that bike, they're going to give it, so it's again ready, the takes go up, they got off that time, oh. right, so they come through this one, it's going to be the 18 of uh, Daniel Brent, comes back around now, for the first time. Side of the track limits here, pushing it right to the edge, giving it every bit of track. Is he looking more comfortable since I've stepped him up? I think he grew so much in the off season, the original just bike wasn't that comfortable for him. As he gets up now, looking a lot better as he comes around for the white flag. Last lap for the day for the juniors, coming from the 18 of Daniel Brett. He comes back now and takes the win. So not the 18 of Daniel Brett and a time of 103.82. 103.82.